2,965 pounds, a one owner 195 J flight coming back to us here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We sold it to the original owners right here at our Southern Michigan RV Supercenter. They went out, had a good time, decided it was time to get something just a little bit bigger. By all accounts, appears to be very well kept. You can see the exterior not really covered with a lot of storage dirt and grime as is often the case this time of year. And part of the reason is if you look down, you see that uh, the folks had purchased a full RV cover to go with this thing, which, you know, since that's not going to fit their new RV, will be included with this RV when you take it home. Bonus! And from top to bottom, she appears to be pretty darn well kept. Uh, th this is a really smart, efficient floor plan. It gives you that front walk around bed. The door is not directly on top of the bed, uh, which I know some people prefer. You got a door back here, which also allows for a nice large closet. Easy walk around bed as well, and there is storage below that. You see you've got your dual side stands, dual side closets. It's got everything a big camper has, just all wrapped up into one small package. This does ride a little bit lower overall because you do have a side mount air, but that's an 8,000 BTU, which is more than enough for a little box like this, even in a hotter southern climate. And you can see it actually lights up pretty nicely in here. It's got um, a, uh, a pretty good LED lighting package despite its smaller size. Now, you might have noticed how the table's not, uh, you know, positioned in the dining area right now. Actually, if I take a step back, you can see it's not because it was damaged or anything like that. Of course, I'm running into the bathroom doors. I back up into this little thing. They just didn't leave it there when they bounced down the road. And that's another good indicator. Like the uh, the microwave turntable is below that blue packet, which has all their original owner's manuals and everything. These folks knew what they were doing. They knew how to take care of this thing. They, you know, stowed everything away for travel. Everything looks good. The table's not busted up. As you can see, it's right there. Now, you might notice a little dryer sheet over there on that side stand. That's a critter prevention method a lot of people will employ because uh, things like mice don't really seem to like the smell of those dryer sheets. It kind of has the same effect as mothballs, but it doesn't leave your camper smelling like grandma's attic, you know? Although that is an interesting smell that will always take you back to some memories. Hopefully they're good and not bad. You might notice right there a privacy curtain as well. But uh, across that bed, you've got good breeze windows. And then uh, as we look over here toward the dining side under that extra overhead cabinet, you got yourself a nice big like dining overlook window as well. And of course we want to see the other you know, side of the store, the other side of this coin right here. You have pleated nightshades for all these windows, too, which is kind of a nice thing. In this budget range, you often get a lot of metallic mini blinds. And I do like, with the table out of the way, it's actually easier to see that household outlet down there between the benches. Now, you can lift these benches up and, uh, well, the seating, rather, and there is storage below them. And you can throw that table down in between them and convert it into a little sleeper space. So, you might have a little grandkid guest sleeper. It is definitely not a big space, but big enough to get the job done. What is surprising is in a little camper like this, they gave you, remember we have that overhead cabinet above the bed, we have uh, hanging closets beside the bed, plus we have this huge walk-in closet with a handy little shoe garage and shelf down there. They have done a good job of storage here, not to mention, as we take a peek over, you've got dedicated pantry space here, which is something very few little campers have. Now in the bathroom and above the kitchen here, you see you've got roof vents. The previous owners um, installed some Camco roof vent covers over those things so you can enjoy some good anytime airflow, and you'll see those when we go outside. Better look at our kitchen from this direction. Um, next to the sink, I've always thought it was a weird spot for it, but that's where your coax hookup would be for your television. Very few people in a little camper like this tend to actually use TV hookups. It's just a thing that they included, kind of for because sort of reasons. And obviously, we're carpetless. We're ventless flooring, we are easy cleaning, and I think we are ready to do a David Blaine teleport back to the bathroom. Hiya! I'm aware that hiya is not exactly the uh, most common magical of phrasings, but hey, to each their own, right? Nice little mirror here in the bathroom opens it up. You can see you have both a skylight uh, and like a, a vent up here for exhaust, and obviously, the folks had replaced the original factory shower head with something to give them what they felt was a little bit better kind of focused water pressure. I see those things all over the place. Back outside, I want to get a little bit closer so you can see there's no defects, blemishes, etc. I like that big campsite baggage compartment door right there. Um, 
We also noticed, like I said, full RV cover, and whoever owned this must have been <laughs> like an Eagle Scout. I'm not gonna lie, I, I just don't have the patience to roll those up burrito style and get them stuffed back in that sleeve. If you do, you're, you're like, I'm the kind of guy, I make an omelet, not a quiche. You know, does that make sense? I don't know if that translates. Regardless, seven foot wide, easy towing body. And remember, even though I have it closed right now, you do have that front viewing window. I just have that beautifully uh, emblazoned Jayco weather shield pulled down over the top of it right there. Those are also kind of nice because you can tilt them on a little bit of an angle if it's a rainy day, get some runoff. As you can see, the entirety of the RVs in frame right now. It is small, you know, not it, uh, not a wide body, narrow body camper. Uh, not extra tall, uh, short, easy towing, lightweight. Uh, you've got galvanized steel wheel wells above that tire, so God forbid you pick up some debris on the road, you're not uh, inclined to have a blowout and tear out half your camper. The roof of this is fully walkable, and if you notice up top, you can see over the living kitchen area and over the bathroom, your vent covers, actually, well, your roof vents have Camco vent covers, there we go, applied to them. Uh, spare tire doesn't look like it's seen the light of day. The spare tire cover looks fantastic. Then again, this thing is not exactly old. It's a fairly late model camper. I give this thing, I don't know, two weeks? I give this thing about two weeks at our location and then it's probably going to be picked off. I don't expect it to last much longer than that. We do have a power awning as we come around the uh, campsite of the RV and get ourselves wrapped up. And of course, that campsite viewing window over your dinette. Always a crowd pleaser favorite feature. What's funny is this thing's short enough. I opened the step just so you could see it was there. I don't even use the step on these little things, but I'm tall and I got long legs. It does have, uh, you know, outside speakers as well for your stereo. Here's a little pro tip on these little things that have like a car style stereo. You're going, how do I turn on just the inside or outside speakers? You actually do it with your left right balance. Kind of a funny little workaround thing there. But anyway, guys. I don't see anything that concerns me. She looks good. Give us a call. You're looking for your first little couples camper, trying to get out of the family pop-up, but don't want something big. I don't know, anything like that. You're going to be happy with what you see here. And hey, save off the new price tag and get an RV cover. How about that? So give us a call. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy Haylet camping, everyone.